is this? What is this? It is just some COD 4. Relax, man. Why are you even bother playing this game when you're terrible and you suck? God damn that little kid, man. That, it just gets me every time I watch that clip. You know, the Black Ops 1 kid. He's just yelling out of fucking nowhere. Like, he's raging, man. He's fucking raging. So, anyways. Today's gameplay, guys. It's a Call of Duty 4. If you guys miss it, leave a like on the video. Because I'm pretty sure you guys miss the way everybody's just on the ground. Nobody's doing that jumpity jumpity bullshit. Nobody's jumping 30 feet high. No wall running. It's pretty much straight up face-to-face -face combat. So, man, I miss COD 4. I wish they would remake it or let us play it on PS4 and Xbox One. That would be fucking great. But no, they're not doing any kind of remasters for this game. Because I'm pretty sure they will lose a lot of cash and the, and the fan base will split even more that in the current CODs, nobody's going to be fucking playing. Like, it's going to be very low. Um, it's, there's not going to be a lot of people online on the current COD. So, that would suck for them. That's why they're not going to release it. Maybe they're going to release it after the freaking you know, PlayStation 5 and Xbox 720 come out or something, you know. Maybe they might release COD 4 for the old school, for the for the PS4 or something. So, um, so, yeah. Anyways, moving on to the main topic of today. Battlefield 5. According to a lot of my gaming sources on Twitter, Angry Joe Show, Kotaku, Game Informer, whatever, blah, blah, you know, all these fucking people that I follow on Twitter. According to them, there is a rumor going around that Battlefield 5 might be taking place in World War 1. Isn't that fucking insane? I think that's amazing to me. Like, I'm what the like, what the fuck? You know, I never got to play the old school Battlefield. I never got to play the old school Call of Duty's either. So for me to get that first time feeling of playing, you know, the old school times like World War One, Vietnam, you know, all these eras, it'll be fucking great. I never got to play it on PS2 or Xbox 360, the you know Call of Duty Finest Hour or whatever, you know, where I can get to like drive one of the one of the old tanks or whatever i never got to play it i got to play world of war like a few times but that's it you know that's like, as close as i get to the, the old school era anything else you know any other game that pretty much play under those eras i never got to play it and then for this you know franchise this battlefield franchise to come up with this old school style it'll be fucking great because i know their maps are freaking gigantic they put a lot of you know content into the game it's gonna be insane, man. I'm telling you, it's gonna be fucking crazy. What do you guys think about the situation? Do you think it's real? If it is real, man, fuck. I'm ready, man. Give me the fucking season pass. I'll pay those 120 bucks right there. So, and I'll I'll even buy the collector's edition, cause fuck it, man. And when I was playing Battlefield 4, I would do I was doing so good too. A lot of people enjoyed it. A lot of people saw my gameplays. A lot of people saw my best class setups. And for me to go back into Battlefield again, it'll be a fucking blessing. So. Especially with this old school style, man. It's fucking insane. Damn, man. That's all I was gonna say is, damn, EA. You're pulling up some good strings up here. So, um, so yeah, man. I just wish, you know, Call of Duty would do the same too. Because, you know, I'm mostly in Call of Duty right now. And maybe going to, like, World of War 2, it would be a fucking great decision. But they're not. They're being idiots, man. I don't know where they're getting this idea that we need some fucking jetpacks. And um, also, by the way, if Battlefield 5 would it have gone, if they are going into the futuristic style, like jetpacks and everything, I believe Battlefield, uh, not Battlefield, sorry, Battlefront Star Wars or whatever, Star Wars Battlefront, the latest one, I believe that was a demo for Battlefield 5. If Battlefield 5 is deciding to go futuristic, you know, Star Wars Battlefront will be their demo. Man, that's crazy. Don't you guys think about that? Like, maybe it could be. That's why they didn't put a lot of content because they don't want to spoil Battlefield 5. Hmm. Conspiracy, man. Conspiracies right there. So, uh, that is it, guys. I wanted to talk about, about the situation, about this rumor that's going around lately. And in my opinion, I believe they should, they should do it, man. Fuck it. Fuck the other critics. Fuck the fucking people that just want modern combat. You bring it the fucking change. You bring the fucking change and you get the fuck your fucking change back because, you know, that's something that any FPS hasn't done yet. In the current, in the modern day, nobody has done it. Name me one game that has gone to back to World War One or World War Two or Vietnam, right now. Nobody, nobody has done. No franchise out there has done that fucking shit yet. So for them to do it first, here comes the cash, man. Here comes the money, 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 money. There, you're, if you are money hungry, you gotta do some change, man. Because going from Battlefield Three to Battlefield Four is the same thing, except Battlefield Four has more fixed bugs and. The weapons aren't OP over the other. Like, there's a lot more balance in that game. So, uh, for them to bring back this, you know, this old school style, this World War One feeling, like, damn, that'll be a fucking great change right there. Change for the great. Man. Don't do it for the money. Well, actually, do it for the money too. So. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what's going through EA's mind. 
So that is it, guys. If you guys want to see more topics, if you guys want to see more Call of Duty gameplay, subscribe for more. Guys, some more stuff coming up.